When I oversee like, you know, a lot of coaches programming, um, I think there's this mindset of what is the maximal recoverable volume that we can recover from and then make progress. But I think very little is talked about what is the minimal training dose you need to actually make progress and then building off of that. So I think a lot of it, like, especially when we're going through patient or client intakes, if we just find out like, hey, like, let's just get a dart on the dartboard, be like, what is a good level that we could start at to build from instead of instantaneously kind of going to, OK, what is the max amount of volume this person can handle and recover from? Um, that's definitely something that I think is huge as well, too. And when I see programming and like when I work with patients online as well, too, a lot of it comes down to just bringing them back a little bit in terms of just giving them a little bit more recoverability. And that usually creates a lot of solutions within, you know, aches and pains within powerlifting. Yeah, definitely a good point, John. Um, and just to kind of piggyback off that, um, it all comes down to a lot of it's just load management. And I think that's a really good point. That's something I really do as well. Instead of always trying to find that maximal dosage volume that you can recover from, why not find like a lower tier volume that you can consistently make progress with? And stay healthy at the same time, you know, like I think that's often overlooked. And a lot of times people just try to look for like the biggest bang for the buck, regardless of what's going to happen in the future. And they kind of just don't understand it. Like, you know, just because I'm making this very fast track progress now 